This is a tweet from Republican Congressman Thomas Massey from Kentucky with the caption, uh, Merry Christmas, P.S. Santa, uh, bring more ammo or please bring ammo. Um, he tweeted this today, uh, right after this school shooting that happened in, in Michigan. And there's his whole family there holding, you know, these uh, assault rifles and whatnot. I mean, what's your reaction when you see something like this? Well, that's a huge part of a problem. Um, we have we, someone elected leaders like this one that think that, I don't know if they're trying to be uh, ironic, funny, or what, but uh, it, it's the worst taste ever that you could handle on social media. Um, this is also something that should uh, teach us who should we elect and not. What's up everybody, Major Retired Richard Ojeda here and no one, and I mean no one, should be permitted to have an M60 machine gun laying around their living room like this Jacqueline from Kentucky. What kind of depraved family photo is this? You know, who in the hell are your relatives and friends that you take these types of photographs for? And as an elected official, what kind of message are you trying to send with this image? This picture was released less than a week after we had yet another mass shooting in an American American high school in which we lost American children to gun violence. All across the country, gun violence is exploding at horrific levels. And yet here in Kentucky, we have this Thomas Massey gloating with his family, carrying weapons intended for war, not photo ops. Did our founding fathers intend this type of image when they wrote the Constitution and included the Second Amendment? It's very important to understand the reasoning of our Constitution and what went into their thought process when they were writing it. And believe me, folks, this was not it. You know, I can guarantee you the second that Thomas Massey absolutely posted this picture, his campaign war chest become flooded with donations from his NRA gun fanatics. They love this. They see dollar signs. But speaking of dollar signs, the M60 machine gun that Thomas Massey is holding is estimated to cost at over $60,000. That's twice of what some of his constituents make in over a year. For a Kentucky representative who represents some of the poorest people in America, this is unacceptable. As an enlisted man, I carried the M60 machine gun, and when I was a company commander conducting security operations all over the country of Iraq, we had a few of these mounted on our vehicles. And I know everything there is to know about this weapon. Do you think that the military handed us those weapons for photo ops? Do you think the military just hands these out to any recruit that enlists? To carry this weapon is an immense responsibility. You have to get trained, qualify, and prove that you are capable of operating this weapon. And clearly, Massey is not. The M60 machine gun can fire 550 to 650 rounds per minute. 7.62 millimeter rounds can puncture through a human's organs and rip them out his back. This weapon can kill thousands of people in under five minutes in a crowded area. And you can legally own it if you have enough money. Most gun owners are not okay with this picture by Thomas Massey, they're not. Most people understand that weapons of war do not belong in people's living rooms for photo ops. Responsible gun owners are sick to their stomach when they see pictures like this, which is nothing more than a politician wanting others to think that he is somehow a tough guy, and I can assure you he's not. You know what I didn't see when I was in combat? This Massey guy. Why? Because he was too busy sitting on his biscuit, not willing to risk it, while we did all of the fighting. But yeah, let a picture tell the people who the tough guys really are. <laughs> Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.